Hello and welcome to ChiefTutor.com training videos and Chief Architect. Uh, we're going to continue on with the electrical tools and here I have set up a simple kitchen and uh, let's go ahead and take a look and I don't have any electrical in it right now obviously it's just a simple kitchen got a, just a range and sink dishwasher things like that and I want to go ahead and make it as accurate as possible for my plan so I want to give it an electrical layout so the first thing I could do is I could go to auto place outlets and we could select outlets to be placed in this kitchen but in this case I don't want a regular duplex outlet what I'd like is obviously a GFI because all my outlets in the kitchen nowadays have to be that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the outlet double click get the electrical defaults click on outlet click on library and then choose my GFCI as to be the standard for the outlet in this particular room. Again, I'm going to adjust it up 8 inches because I know for my backsplash, right? And now I'm all set and ready to generate my GFIs around. And it did a pretty good job as it did before. As you can see, it's surrounded and it goes within a certain distance on the wall, so it all works. And you'll also notice it added a light because it realized that this was the sink. So it always puts a light above the sink, which is another added feature for Chief. Nice little feature. Okay, so why don't we start tricking this out a bit? Now the first thing I want to do is get rid of all these GFIs that I don't need. I'll go ahead and delete this one, and that one, and that one. And I'm going to take this one and I'm just going to drag and drop him over here because I'm going to use him for the garbage disposal and the dishwasher. Now they are supposed to be on separate circuits, but in this case, uh, we'll just follow the rules. <laughs> we'll follow my rules. Okay, so I'm going to go and I'm going to select now switch from the drop down menu because I want to add some switches. So I'm going to add one, two switches here. And I'm going to use one switch for the light, and another switch for the garbage disposal. So the next thing I want to do is I want to connect them. So I'm going to use the connecting tool. And I'm going to start at the switch or the light source, doesn't matter which, and you just drag to each of them, and it'll show a connection. And again, I'm going to drag and connect, and there we go. You can even click on it, and there's a little handlebar so you can move it out of the way and readjust it. There's also many other ways to readjust this line because you'll notice these polyline advanced tools have popped up as well. But I'm pretty happy with that as we go. Now let's get to the lights. I'm going to go ahead and place some can lights, but before I do, why don't we go back to the electrical defaults, defaults and click on light ceilings, make sure, yep, that's good. I want a can light. Okay. So that's all set. I'm going to go ahead and put some lights in. One two. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of them by clicking on one, holding down shift and clicking on the other one. I'm going to use the copy tool and then the sticky mode. And I'm just going to grab, drag and drop, grab, drag and drop and let go. Hit the space bar there. Now I got the proper lights that I want in the room. And let's see, why don't we put some pendant lights above the island because we got the wall per, or the ceiling pretty much covered. Why don't we get the island as well? Okay, so let's do that. I'm going to go to the search library, click on library search, type in pendants, hit enter, and there should be a whole selection of them. Let's see, blown glass pendant. That looks pretty good. Let's use that. I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to place one here and one there and hit the space bar. Okay, now what I'd like to do is I'd like to hook up switches and links for this one. So I'm going to go ahead and place a couple more switches here and here and I'm going to link them up. Connect electrical. I'm going to start here, click drag and drop, click drag and drop you can see it just you hold down the left mouse you go to the light source let go click drag drop click drag drop and it's as easy as that again I can select these and move them in a more appropriate manner so you can see them better something like that yeah maybe 
drag this one out a bit. Now what I want to do is select my pendants. So I'm going to click, hold down the left mouse button, find my electrical, let go. Click, drag and drop. There we go. Okay, so now my electrical is all set up. What I want to do is one last thing. I want to hit another switch and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put another switch um, let's say right here. And I'm going to let this switch also control the light. So I'm going to create a three-way. So what I want you to do is I want you to notice what happens when I go and connect the lights that have already been connected to one switch. I'm going to complete the circuit. I'm going to go from this switch to this light. Now watch the switch symbol. Boom. It changed a little. Put a little three-way there for you so you know it's a switch with three-way. Another great little thing Chief does. Figures it all out by itself. Okay, now I'm pretty set and ready. Pretty happy with my design. And if we take a look, we'll notice Chief placed everything in the appropriate place. We've got the can lights in the ceiling. We've got the electrical and switches where we want them. And we got the switches over there where we want them. Everything's perfect. Okay, now why don't we make a schedule? Well, the great thing about Chief is it has schedules for everything. If you go to Tools, go down to Schedules, you can find one for Electrical. And go ahead and click Electrical, and I'm going to back up a bit, and I'm going to notice this thing's kind of huge. So I'm just going to click it right over here, and hit the space bar, and zoom in. And it can sh I can see that it shows a label, shows the quantity, even gives you a little description. Okay, but I want to shorten it up because there's some areas here I'm not even using. So I'm going to double click it. Drag down, I'm going to say I don't need the number, component, manufacturer, code, description I'll keep, height and depth I don't really need, get rid of width, quantity's nice, floor, it's all on the same floor so I can get rid of that and then we'll leave that number. I'm going to go over to the attributes and I'm going to assign it like a blueprint font and then grab black, make it maybe a little bit lighter than black. Okay. Click OK, click OK. And there we go. I got a much more user friendly schedule. And the only other thing I want to do is, even though it labels it out pretty well, I want to show you we can do a couple of different things. We can turn the labels for electrical on, which shows a little description by each item, but it gets a little busy and hard to read. So, what I like to do is, if I have to label a certain thing, I'll click on its switch, like for instance, or an outlet, whichever you want. I'm clicking on this switch, which goes to my GFI for my garbage disposal. In order to specify that correctly with the city, I'm going to jump into its component. This is the component name for that item. I'm going to select in here and I'm going to put in garbage disposal. Uh, that's it. Yeah, so it's single pole garbage disposal. Click OK. And the way I've done that now is it's applied the single pole to its own line item with its own designation of which we called it single pole garbage disposal. So now I can label each specific one like I can label these can lights to be LED can lights so it meets the code efficiency and things like that. That's usually the best way that I've found to kind of display the items that you need properly displayed. And so you can see pretty quickly that Chief Architect can take uh, your room and your design and not only make it look good in 3D but also build a very reliable very good scheduler and have everything linked up pretty quickly. So I hope you enjoyed this video and there'll be many more.